So this is a form factor I've pretty well settled on for um, for smallish for outdoor drones. It fits in the backpack well. And this one I built some time ago. It's the second largest one I've ever built using a DJI uh, 330 frame. Um, and it's been on the shelf for a bit. So recently when I decided to look around for uh, a new VTX um, this is the one I've been uh, experimenting with. And so far I'm happy with how things are going. For about the last six years since I got into having a separate camera and um, VTX, this is the VTX I've been using. They came from Esheen, they cost around $11 Australian. Uh, last one I bought probably cost about $15, so very inexpensive. And uh, as time's gone on they're hard to get and also they're kind of obsolete. So I was looking around for a replacement. What I came up with was this. Um, most of them I felt were overpriced. I'm, I wasn't happy going from $15 to $50 for the rush tank stuff. And then somehow I came upon this and it looked very promising. So uh, by buying three, once I got them for about $22 Australian, which is a pretty reasonable price. So what I've been doing is putting it into this uh, large drone to do the testing. So the way I've done it is similar to how I used to do them before with the Bug 3 cover, is to put it in there up the, up the top. Um, what you might notice is a little red, an extra red wire. I've got a three pin plug connecting it and then there's an extra little red wire that's soldered directly to two points which is uh, transmit and receive and that's where I've gone, been on a whole new learning curve. So that's what this video is about. This is the manual for the uh, the VTX card and one of the things that attracted me to it was you can set the band and the channel and the power level um, with a button. As it turned out it's impossible to set the power level with a button so that led me into the whole world of software. And on the ports tab under Betaflight um, it's, uh, that little red wire is going to uh, um, on UART1, UART1 and you can enable it and what you're looking for is uh, VT, VTX IRC Tramp Audio so once that's uh, selected and save that uh, you're ready to do some stuff so if you look at the, uh, the manual you can see it goes from T1 in my case to RX on the uh, on the, the little VTX and there's also a table so these values you turns out you can load them from a text file and then make your selection of what band channel and power level you want. So here's the video um, transmitter tab in Betaflight and you can actually load it from the file as you can see from down the bottom here. Uh, once you've saved that you've then got the choice to select the, um, the band channel and power which I've done and the other exciting thing is you actually set low power disarm so it starts off at 25mm and then ramps to 30, 350 when you arm it. And the final thing is under the OSD, there's an option to have uh, VTX information. So I've gone for the full band channel and power level. Once I'm used to this, I'll probably get rid of band and channel. But uh, it's been quite, quite an exciting discovery. Welcome to HTX. Designed fail-safe on angle mode. So now for some FTP footage. If you notice it starts off at 25 and then as soon as I flick the button it goes to uh, 350. 
which is great. So when I've got it, uh, batteries connected but not armed, it's on its lowest power. Um, pit stop with zero would be nice, but I'm not sure how it works. Couldn't seem to get that to work. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with what, is, what I've discovered here. Um, as you can see, looking outside, the trees are blowing around a bit. So uh, that's why we're do I'm doing an indoor test. But uh, I discovered that there's all sorts of things. Now you've got this control on beta flight. You can have multiple profiles, so you can have different power levels for different situations. You can have multiple profiles for different power and channel settings. So it's got an awful lot of potential, which I had no idea about. So I'm quite pleased with my progress on this one. It might be obvious to a lot of people, but uh, this is the stuff I'm learning as I go along. So until next time, bye for now.